We want to give people the same options of self-defense on campus that they're already allowed off campus. We're not asking that any current restricted class of person be allowed access to firearms. Only the same individuals that can already obtain a concealed handgun license that can already purchase a firearm. So it's not going to change who can, who can purchase a firearm. And John, you know, in 2007, gun violence touched your life. Your girlfriend was killed at Virginia Tech. Um, tell us why you're against this legislation and why it might not have saved your girlfriend. You know, I think there are two big issues here. And uh, one is that there's absolutely, there's almost no crime on college campuses. For example, at the University of Texas, there have only been uh, two murders in the last 29 years, so virtually no violent crime. Uh, and, you know, the other thing is I had the opportunity of speaking to a number of survivors, and I haven't heard from a single one who's in favor of guns on campus. They all say that it'd be more likely to cause uh, more, maybe smaller shootings, and that it probably wouldn't have been able to do much to stop uh, the shooting at Virginia Tech. And, and you know, Michael, there there is the argument that um, that college students are still maturing and maybe they can't handle a concealed weapon. How do you respond to those critics and to what John just said? Again, these are the same people that can already purchase firearms, can already obtain a concealed hangout license. It doesn't change that. These are the same people who are already carrying when they go to grocery stores, movie theaters, uh, restaurants, shopping malls. And, and to say that there's almost no crime on campus negates the fact there are tens of thousands of crimes that occur on campus every year in this country. You can go to the Department of Education and look at those statistics. Now the fact of the matter is there's this gray area of crime that we don't know about when people are walking to campus or from campus going back to their off-campus apartment or home. And those statistics are not included in campus crime statistics. So there's that big gray area of crime that we just don't know about. And, and you know, John, there's also the question of constitutionality. I mean, many people say it's our constitutional right to carry firearms or to have them. Uh, well, you know, I think Michael makes a good point there. There is a lot of crime on campus, but it's all mostly fist fights and such. And if that sort of thing was escalating into gunfights, then we'd have a major problem. Um, in terms of the Second Amendment, uh, you know, Justice Scalia of the Supreme Court uh, has said that, and this is in the Washington, D.C., uh, overturning their firearms ban, he, he made the point that this shouldn't be taken to extend to, to college campuses, sensitive places, government buildings, uh, public schools. So. And Michael, you know, some might say that John has a point that, you know, okay, maybe it's legal to carry concealed weapons, but should those concealed weapons be carried, you know, in places like government office buildings or college campuses or even high schools maybe by teachers? Well, the difference between a high school and between a college environment is that the college environment is an open environment. Anyone from off the street can walk onto a college campus without being stopped by security. Whereas high school, you have controlled points of entry, a resource officer, metal detectors, and screen who has a firearm. Uh, whereas college campus, you can't do that. Anyone can come up on, onto campus. Now, the, the debate isn't about constitutionality. The debate is why do, we put, why do we stack the odds in favor of the criminal who doesn't follow the law, who doesn't follow the rules? There's, there's a reason that we should allow law-abiding citizens to defend themselves. It's the same option of self-defense they're already given off campus. And John, I'm, I'm going to let you have the final word and, and respond to that because had students at Virginia Tech had weapons, I mean, this gunman just burst into the classroom and started shooting. Do you think that um, he might have been taken down if some student had a gun to stop him? You know. That's, that's a lot of speculation, but I, I think he probably would have changed his taxic, tactics. Uh, so, for example, if there were guns allowed at the University of Texas, it would only be people who are 21 and older. Um, and, you know, my concern is, well, what would stop him from just going into a freshman-only class or, you know, a class where he knew that people were unlikely to be carrying and doing just Exactly. Let's make it harder for him. Let's not make it easier. Let's, let's make it harder.